For Total War Warhammer 3, patch 1.1 brings new updates to gameplay, bug fixes and performance. Let us go over some of the biggest changes we can expect to see. In the Realms of Chaos, the effects from traits gained are about 50% less severe across the board. Demon Legendary Lords will no longer gain negative traits in the realm of their respective Chaos God, and traits gained in the Realms of Chaos will now also be removed when that Legendary Lord completes the survival battle within the realm. Completing a survival battle will now also provide the winning faction with the following effects for 10 turns. Plus 15 growth across all provinces, plus 8 control across all provinces, plus or minus 5 of the faction's corruption across all provinces, and plus 10% income across all provinces. All options in the dilemmas provided by the points of interest in the Siege Realm will now provide replenishment, and the boon from Siege option will now show the reward up front. The attrition resistance effects provided by the points of interest in the Nurgle Realm now last 20 turns rather than the duration of the army being in the realm, so you can capitalise on the benefit in the mortal world also. Players now have the chance to stop rifts from forming within their growing empires. The protection chain building will keep the rifts at bay in your province as they open up across the world. When the player intercepts an AI faction at the Forge of Souls, instead of being wounded, the AI's faction's souls will now instead be lost, forcing them to collect them all again. After completing the campaign, the player now gets the chance to banish Bellacor. This will provide the following permanent effects. Plus 5 winds of magic per turn for all armies, plus 3 hero capacity for all heroes, plus 25 growth across all provinces, plus 7 control across all provinces, plus 14 hero and lord recruit rank, and plus 15% income across all provinces. Among the many fixes we have implemented for bugs, the most notable include supply line issues when disbanding lords has been fixed, Firebelly heroes and garrisons will receive spells in battle as expected, charge reflection will now only activate for braced units, issues with mass calculations reducing the lethality of charges has also been fixed, infantry turning behaviour has been updated, the technology Everlasting Gift for Slanesh has been updated to fix issues with missing buffs, corrupted traits are now removed when a character spends time in a province with a low corruption relevant to that trait, and the base stats for the Demon Prince have been improved to strengthen his campaign. Prince. This patch is the first of many. Keep a close eye out for all the updates coming your way. For a full list of patch notes, visit our website. <laughs>